From the Intellifluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellifluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Chantelle Fawn is a mom, certified public accountant, model, and a farmer's daughter. In fact, Chantelle is co-founder of Farmer's Daughters, a New Mexico-based farm-to-table company that partners with the best restaurants, hotels, breweries, and food trucks to serve fresh ingredients from local farms. You can follow Chantelle on Instagram or check out farmersdaughters.tv to learn more about her business. Take it away, Sammy. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about your background on the farm and how you branched out into influencer marketing? Um, well, it just kind of happened. It evolved. Uh, we were just trying to use um, my family. We have a business, a farming business. So we tried to use social media to promote it. And um, by doing this, we started doing different like photo shoots and um, using like farm locations just to promote like different events. And so um, then it, it kind of, I branched off to do more personal things and promote um, all things related to like um, the outdoors and agriculture and Western lifestyle and um, Southwest lifestyle, jewelry, and uh, just kind of within those areas. Very nice. And I'm, I'm curious, when did you get into modeling and what were some of the first steps you took to establish yourself? I started modeling, um, it's been a while over the last um, few years, but more um, consistently the last two years. Uh, I established myself just, you know, by reaching out to different people, different photographers and collaborating with them. And then um, people and brands seeing that um, online, social media, and just sharing it within different groups and um, platforms. Also, um, directly reaching out to brands themselves. I know a lot of people don't really think about that or don't think they would have luck, but a lot of people are open to that and just knowing that you can help promote them also on your social media. Very nice, very nice. So at what point would you say um, was your aha moment when you realized that influencer marketing would be a viable revenue source for you? I think just like, you know, the first thing that came along, just kind of seeing the opportunity within that and um, just going with it and seeing where it would go and reaching out to different, you know, companies and then realizing there's other um, avenues like companies like yourself that help connect brands and influencers. And I found a lot of opportunities with that within that. Very nice. And then as an entrepreneur, an influencer, a CPA, a model, and a mother, how do you structure your average day so you can accomplish everything that you need to in an efficient manner? I know, it's a lot of different projects for sure. I like to like plan my time out, usually a month in advance or months, like bigger projects and then dividing that up um, and prior to making which ones are more of the priorities and um, more of the fun things. I think definitely the influencer stuff is more like fun, but you definitely get um, a lot out of it. And you're also able to be creative within that. Absolutely. And then um, can you tell us a little bit about how Farmer's Daughters came to be and a little bit about what the company offers? So Farmer's Daughters is a business that I started with my cousin. Uh, we started this because of our farming background. Our family's been farming for over 100 years. Um, so we're fourth generation um, farmers, I guess you could say. Uh, we just started the business to kind of evolve it to the next generation and kind of create something within the same um, background. So we started just basically selling our families produce that they grew to different restaurants and then we started doing farm to table dinners and farm products um so we made like a body butter uh with beeswax and um so we just want to use it to put a spotlight on farming and organic farming and buying local and um just really promoting that because i think a lot of people kind of forget where their food comes from all the hard work that goes into it and the families and the story behind it. Totally. 
And you, you mentioned how when you started to establish yourself that you reached out to brands. So what has been your favorite collaboration to date with the brand? I mean, there's so many. I guess my most recent one with rock and roll denim was pretty cool. I got to work with a couple different models or influencers. So I like collaborating with different people because I feel like we all help each other out and it goes to like a wider network and a wider circle of people. And then on the flip side of that, um, oftentimes, or hopefully not often, um, brands don't really do their due diligence in researching an influencer before they send them a pitch. So what's been the weirdest request you've ever received from a brand? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily weird. I guess there's just like maybe promoting like um, a web browser, like use this and then we'll pay you. Because I feel like you have to like create your, um, who you are and what you're trying to promote and uh, kind of stay within that. I think it's probably the key because you have like your audience of why they follow you and kind of giving that them what they want versus just selling them anything and everything. Exactly. And then what has been your most rewarding moment in your career? It can be when you're as an influencer, a model, CPA, whatever. I think like within all those aspects has been rewarding moments. Um, I know with my CPA license, it took me forever and a lot of hard work to get. So when I actually passed and achieved that, it was, um, it was really rewarding. But I think the thing that's closest to heart is the farming, um, just because it's my life and my family and our legacy. So being able to um, really promote it and get it to this huge audience where as before it, it wouldn't have been seen and be able to create a brand out of that out of nothing um is just real rewarding as well want to join intellifluence as an influencer for free it's easy visit intellifluence.com click on the influencers link and then click on the join for free button to sign up once you have registered, you will get immediate access to our influencer marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and well, you know the drill. Until our next episode, keep being awesome.